morning, and this triathlon is going on, and one leg of it is already done. I know it. At 7.20. These triathletes are serious. Allie Wagner is standing next to a couple ladies who are part of it. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. I know that's right, you guys, because you've been t we've been talking about the men because they flew through that swim and have been ran out of here on their bikes, and they almost should be coming back. But right now, I'm joined by Kathleen and Julie, and you guys are some of the original Iron Women. I like feel like I should bow down. I'm in the elite status. Tell me how cool this event is. Well, this is so great to be here and just to see how much our sport has grown. You know, back in 1982, there were about six triathlons in the entire world and now here we are you know at a collegiate event where there are thousands of triathlons around the world and you guys know the UCSD kids tell me about your connection with them we've had a great opportunity to go and speak to the triathlon club at UC San Diego Kim McDonald the coach invited us to come and speak to them so we're proudly sporting our go triton colors and just to see that at the same age we were 30 something years ago we were in college and to see these young women and to know they have a lifetime of physical adventures waiting for them, starting with the triathlon today. Wow, and did you race in the first one that was here? We're close. No, oh, not close. in the very first right. one. No. I know, that's what we were asking earlier, but I mean, that's incredible to think of how many athletes are here in San Diego. I know, to see the sport grow and to know now that it's an NC2A sport for women, so this is just an, it's an Olympic sport now, so to see the growth in the last 34 years since I've been involved is very exciting. And what's the kind of tip for an amateur who wants to get involved in this? What, what do you kind of tell them when they're first starting out? Just to go and try one. Just leave your expectations in the transition area and go out there and think of it as something you would do on a Saturday with your friends. And that's really what it is. It's the camaraderie. You're going for a little swim, then you go for a little bike, and then you're going to go for a jog. You really have to have that mindset for your first triathlon. Yeah, just a, just a little one. And there's a future, perhaps a future Olympian in the men's and the women's today, right? Oh, it's very exciting. It's, good. We're, it's a great opportunity for us to all be able to see them in person competing here in San Diego. Uh, well, and we already saw how quick some of those guys were. The transition seems to really be the key, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't really waste a second. So, um, you know, sometimes finishes are within seconds, so every second matters. And you guys are still competing, essentially, tomorrow. Are you racing tomorrow as well? Oh, I'm on the fence, Allie. I'm kind of a whip. I feel kind of whippy today, but these women are going to motivate me to get the bike out, pump up the tires, and get out here. I mean, I, we're at the birthplace of triathlon. It's hard to miss an opportunity to race right here. Very cool. I know you're racing tomorrow. Are you trying to beat at a certain time? No, I'm just out there to have a really good time. I love to race and love to be part of the event, so I'll just be out there they're probably uh, in the back of the pack. You know what? But it seems like this is something you can do lifelong. Yeah, we plan on it. I mean, Julie and I right now have a goal to uh, compete in 2032 at the Ironman. So this is a lifelong sport, and that's what's so wonderful to go ahead and you know start when you're young or in college. Pick it up any time in your life and know you can compete throughout your life and enjoy the sport. That is so cool. I, I feel like I, I could go steal a bike over there and get, and get started right now. Guys, back over to you. <laughs>